You may have heard of Chartify. It's a new data visualization library for Python. Um, comes out of Spotify Labs. It's only been around, uh, only been released a, just a couple weeks ago. So I'm going to download this here and we'll give it a try with some data I have and we'll see what things look like. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to pull up my, my prompt here and I'm going to install this. So let's go Python 3 or Python dash M uh, pip install chartify. Hopefully this will work. I haven't used chartify at all yet. This is my first time trying anything with it. So uh, we'll just work through it here together and see what we can find out. Uh, I'm going to pause the video here for a second while that's going. I'm going to go find a data file and get that ready so that we can, we can pull it up here once that once Chartify is installed. All right, so Chartify is installed. Um, and I'll just rehash what I did up here, the commands. Um, so we've got just python-m pip install Chartify from the command line. Uh, make sure your Python installation points to the correct one. Mine's pointing to my Python 3.6.4 installation. Uh, you may need to use Python 3 depending on how your terminal is set up. And I'll also mention I'm doing this on Windows, if I haven't said it already. Um, so I've got a blank PyCharm project opened up here. And uh, I'm going to just add a, an example file in here. We're just going to play around with Chartify a little bit. Uh, so let's go ahead and right click. Here we go, new Python file. And we'll just do test. We'll just call this testing out Chartify. So I have not played around with Chartify at all yet. This is my I'm just gonna start out by uh, importing Chartify. And I'm also gonna import pandas. Uh, as PD, and then here's a file that I have that has some snow tail data, so it's data about snowpack, precipitation, and temperature. I'm going to put that there for now. I may or may not end up using that. Chartify does have uh, some uh, default data that comes with it, so we'll just start out using that a little bit. So the first thing we can do is we can just... Uh, Start with making a chart object, chart object. So chartify, uh, which I thought it was just chart. Here we go. Now we can go do ch dot show, and then if we go and I'm going to just run this, and it should show us a chart. So we'll just come down, we'll click run. We have to get the configuration going here first. Chartify, give it a second. We'll be going. Okay, so when that finishes running, what it does is it actually pops up this plot uh, in the web browser. And so you can see that's the blank chart that I've created there. So I'm going to um, just head back over and go to Chartify here, or to my, chart, my script here, and we can add in some things. Now, a real cool thing that I like about this already is you can take a look and you can see that it has the the methods here that you need to use to set your titles and things. So we can actually even just like, I guess I can't, I'm working toward the copy. We can, we know the, the call, the function call. So you see h.set title is going to set our title, um, dot axes dot set. So let's go ahead and try some of this and see how it turns out. Um, let's come down here and go ch dot set title and my first time with Chartify, uh, and then we can come down ch.set uh, subtitle, I hope it works out okay, and then, uh, I don't know what it was, I think it was something about axes, so let's go take a look here. Um, set y axis label. Not set y uh, 
Uh, that one's not showing up in the auto complete. Oh, it's dot axes. Okay. So you gotta go ch dot axes dot set y axis label. And this is the y axis. And then ch dot axis dot set x axis label. And this is the x axis. Let's go ahead and run this now and see how that goes. All right, so uh, here we have it. We've got this uh, all set up nicely, and we can set the source. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. We'll take a look at that again. ch.setSourceLabel. And that's going to be Chartify. Okay, good deal. I'm actually going to comment out one of these lines. I want to take a look at how they do the units on this. So let's comment that out. Let's click Run. And that's going to pop up. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we got label units. Okay, yeah. Looks like we're doing that okay. This will come back and we'll just put that line back in there. Um, now it'd be really cool if we could work with some data. So let's take a look and see what we can do. With okay, so I'm just going to come in here. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to comment some of these lines out so we can work with the data first. You can use control forward slash to do that. Uh, so we're going to use the example chartify data equals chartify dot examples dot example data. And let's go print. Uh, head data dot head. So let's see what this these data look like here. Click run there and it'll print out down here. Okay, so the data printed out. We can see we've got a date, a country, a fruit, price, quantity, and total price. <clears throat> so that's something to work with there. Um, so I think the next thing to do is to use those data to, to make it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to uncomment these lines. And maybe we'll set it up so we plot a line chart of the quantity or maybe the total price of each fruit type by date. That might be something we could try. Um, so, title, uh, whoops. Let's go, oh, so that was selected. That's the problem. So we'll call this fruit by date. Um, sort of y axis. Let's just make this uh, quantity and let's make the x axis date. Uh, let's just try to find example data. Okay, so we got our chart. So we'll need to specify the axis. So let's specify our axis type. So let's go X, axis type will be date time and Y axis type. We can probably just leave that uh, empty for now. Let's see how this goes. And then let's go ch.plot.line. So we go x column uh, equals date, y column, let's start out with quantity, and let's do color column equals fruit. All right, well, let's see how this works out. Okay, so we have an error here. Um, I didn't give it the data frame. So let's come over and go data frame equals data, and let's try to run that again. Okay, and there's the plot. Uh, as you can see, it probably was not sorted by date, and so we just get uh, a real 
big mess. But that's okay. We can go back and we can maybe try to do this as a scatter plot. Uh, let's come back in and try that. Let's do plot dot scatter. And let's see how that turns out. I guess we can go ahead and uh, we'll comment out this print. We don't need that anymore. So let's go ahead and run this again. And there you go. There's the scatter plot that kind of shows those quantities. Uh, it looks like they can kind of jump by. You know, you can see the, the linear trend of those. Um, yeah. So there it is. I'm going to close out uh, some of these other plots here, kind of stacking up. Uh, we could probably make a histogram of these data too. Let's see if we can can do that. Uh, ch dot plot histogram. And so we're going to do data frame equals data. And I'm not sure what other things we have here. Uh, let's see what we get here. So if I go histogram, it should give me some help. There we go. Data frame. Uh, then we have values column and color column and color order. Okay, so let's uh, go data frame equals data. Let's go values column equals quantity and let's go color column equals fruit and I'm I'm just gonna comment out this line so we don't generate two plots and so the, hopefully it's gives us a grouped bar chart or a grouped histogram that shows different colors for each fruit so let's go ahead uh, and run this okay so we got an error here and uh, it's because of the axis types. So you can see I put an x axis type date time here, but we change this to a histogram, and the histogram axis is going to be a quantity rather than a date time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this up here and uh, see if that fixes our problem. So let's try that now. Okay, so let's uh, do a couple of things here. Blank labels. Let's make that true and x axis type. Let's make this density. And let's try this and see if that gets rid of our error. Okay, so here's the chart we have, and we have a quantity. And you can see that we have these, you know, different bin sizes showing up for each of these. Um, so maybe we can go back and let's let's uh, Let's uh, try something else. Oh, I didn't change the, the label here. But yeah, that gives you the density, and we can maybe change this so the y-axis type uh, is density, and that'll divide up our bins and such. So let's come back over here to chart through our, our script. Let's change this to y-axis type. Uh, let's change our y-axis to quantities fine. Actually, this should be a quantity here, and this should probably be a count here, or density. We'll leave a count. Um, and let's do uh, bins equals 10 down there and see how this goes. Oh, I click the debug. Let's, uh, let's click the correct button there. Here we go. Yep, and see, there you go. You can see that we've now put that chart back the other way. Um, it's still interesting how some of these have wider bins than others. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. Um, but as you can see, we've now made a histogram, and it has those overlapping. We could probably do this uh, overall, and let's try one just with an overall histogram. And we'll cut out the grouping here. And uh, let's see, I don't remember what this was, but I think we might have price. Let's see if that throws us an error or not. And it did throw us an error. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up and print the data head again. And I'm going to comment this out so we don't show the chart. 
and we'll see what our data show here. Okay, unit underscore price uh, is what we're looking for. So let's comment that out and uncomment all this. And uh, actually, we probably want total price because the unit price is going to be the same. Um, so let's go total price. And we're just going to remove the 10 bins from here. And we'll let it choose by default and let's hit run okay and there we go and that shows the the quantity I didn't change my title to illustrate this is a histogram um, and this isn't a quantity anymore it's a price but you can see that 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 shows the histogram there uh, anyway, that's just a real quick overview of Chartify. I haven't used it. To, to, I've used it as much as you have now. Um, this is my first look at it. It looks pretty simple to use. Um, maybe simpler than, than Matplotlib, which I think is, is often the standard in Python. Um, so it's kind of fun, kind of a new thing. Um, let me know if you want to see more tutorials on Chartify and what kind of tutorials you'd like to see. Also, if there are any other... Uh, tutorials or things you want me to show on YouTube, just feel free to leave a comment below and, and I'll see what I can do. I should have some time here in the next couple of months to, to make some more videos. So I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, and once again, thank you for watching. Uh, appreciate, appreciate the support.